Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is how to integrate pay you money payment gateway in Codeigniter. So this is pay you money documentation. I'm going to show you redirect checkout and in this there is steps to integrate is given. You can have a look at this after that download integration kit. That's for PHP. So let's go to merchant dashboard. I have already like created account and set on test mode. I'm just going to focus main on code. So in left, you can see start your integration. Click on that and there is a new page open that has key and salt from like for test mode. If you will see in documentation, there is integration reference. Inside that, there is a chart of available prerequisite client side changes. So, one should have a look at the documentation. So, let's move to view. I have created this view where I have to enter price. Like you are doing just final checkout. I have already connected to database and customer table. First ID data I have fetched. So let me show you code for this. So firstly I am going to show you controller that is payment. Inside index function I have fetched customer ID 1 data. And in model you can see I have written one function that is fetch customer data. After that I have created one view that is payment view. And in payment view, I have created one form where the action will say payment slash checkout. Past hidden ID is customer ID, name, email, mobile number, address, price mm -hmm. I have to enter. So that's the form I have created. So let's quickly move to the integration. I'm pasting zip file in view and extracting the zip file. There are four files in it, failure, success, form, and one image. So in failure, there is post data that we will be receiving and hash data is checked. After that form in which we are, will be passing all our required fields for payment gateway. After that, there is PNG image for pay you money. Last is success. In same, we will be receiving from payment gateway. So, um, firstly, I'll be working on payment form. So, let's just go and create a function for checkout in payment controller. I'm going to load the view with name payment checkout and i'm just removing the data so payment checkout i'm going to create one new file in views control v same name and just copy the form and paste in this so now let me show you in form if I'll enter, let's say one in price and submit, there you can see a form is submitted there. So there are mandatory parameters and some optional parameters as well. So we need to send all the mandatory parameters. So let's go and do that. So in view, I just want form all other PHP code. I'm going to just cut from there and paste it in my controller that I have created checkout that is function and paste it here after pasting let's get back to form and in script I'm just hiding hash you can keep if you want to it's just checking if hash is not blank well I'm sending it from controller so you can pass the value of hash and you can keep it and I'm just removing form error as well. 
I'm just keeping last name in optional field and removing all other. I'm just showing you one optional field and all other mandatory fields. So now in view only form is left. So that's what I wanted. And let's move to checkout function. Get the merchant key and sold from the merchant dashboard. Paste it here. After that, there is test URL. For production, you can change to secure pay.in. So let me go to view and submit the form. Submit and you can see customer data is printed and submit is also coming. So I have to, you know, pass all this data into posted array that is created. So let's go and do that. Copy the posted transaction ID from below. Remove form error and paste it here. And in this, I'm going to pass this input post. And from form, customer name I'm getting. And in posted array, I'm passing that in first name. Let's copy this and customer email pass in email. After that, phone having value of mobile. And transaction ID with hash SHA256 and pass that in error remove below code after that hash hash sequence now in poster there is key also need to pass so pass merchant key transaction id we already did we forgot to add amount so let's go and take price from form as well product info so in post it, write product info as test, S URL is success URL, write base URL, after that payment slash payment success, same for failure, just change function name that is payment failure. Now everything I guess we have taken that is compulsory. just remove this we don't need this f after this hash also need to be passed in posted array so pass that hash as well and i guess we are done all the things that we need hash sequence contain all the fields whatever you are passing make sure you are passing in this hash sequence and in for each value is present same is passed as blank is passed and last salt is attached to the hash string from that hash is generated using hash sha512 and last is action when which uh, slash underscore payment is attached Next, I need to pass these values to form. So first, merchant key. Next uh, is transaction ID. After that, pass hash. Then array posted. Action I have not passed. In last name, I am passing first name as I have no last name. So after passing first name, C curl is well, I'm not passing that. 
so let's go to browser and check if it's working or not so refresh and continue now you can see all the fields are there and it is redirected to the test URL that we have set so let me enter the test card details 521 name on card is going to be test click on pay now and it going to another page after that OTP will be asked 1 2 3 4 5 6 for testing now again it's redirecting let's see so you can see it is redirected to our payment success page right now we have not created so it's giving us 404 error let's go and create that public function payment success and let's create one more for failure as well payment failures now open success page from payment gateway and copy all the text that is present and paste in payment success function so it's giving us status first name amount transaction id hash key product info email and salt is blank after that it's giving it's checking hash is equal or not before transaction and after transaction so let's go and take the salt and paste here below for success as well and last it's printing us some like uh, your order is success and your transaction id is that so let's go in browser and refresh now you can see it's giving us message thank you your order is success and it giving us transaction id and with amount as well you can create your own success page and redirect to that so i have created one table for inserting transaction data so let's insert data so first let's create one variable that is data and array inside that first one is going to be status pass in a key value pair after that second is going to be first name let me just copy and third one is amount after that transaction id next is hash email and also store create time that is current date and time then pass this data for insert and payment model write one function that is payment insert open payment model and in that create payment function payment insert underscore this jv insert pass table name and data that we sent from controller return true or id if you want to i'm just returning true so refresh the browser continue and if i'll check in db there is one entry with transaction id status first name amount so data is inserted so let's go and do same thing for failure in failure file 
copy the text whatever is given and paste in function also copy the salt and paste and insert data as well it's good to save failure and success both data let's go in browser and let's start a game enterprise summit and it's redirecting so enter test card details pay now so let me enter wrong otp let's say anything i'm writing see what happened so it's redirecting it's, it's giving us failed error and now it's automatically redirected to its payment gateway only so let me just cancel that yes now it is redirected to our failure page check in db there will be one more entry for failure so you can store both success and failure in db and you can also just create one function if you want and redirect both success and failure to same function so note one or two things like if you want to send your customer id or user id so you should pass that in udf field that i have not shown you you can pass that and everything will be same and second is that if you like you should not show all the fields of the form i have shown you just for the tutorial thing you should hide all those fields as user should not see all those fields for security reasons and uh, you should display a message like uh, your transaction is in process and do not press back button like that so that user will not be able to see whatever you are sending or you know user may have some issues that you are sending your data to any third party or something so user data should be hidden so in this video i have shown you how to integrate pay you money payment gateway in ci i hope this video is helpful to you thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel